Like many communities in Florida, some neighborhoods in Punta Gorda suffer from cases of tainted Chinese drywall. Today, city officials took action to try to get some relief for victims. SNN Local News 6 reporter Howie Grace has more on this. Chinese drywall is a problem plaguing many communities across the country, and Punta Gorda is no exception. Right now, the count is a little over 120 condo units here in the city. Abandoned and vacant units started to cause a problem with homeowners associations that were not able to collect dues on those units. If they fold up their operation, and they were pretty close to doing that, then somebody's going to have to mow the yard, somebody's going to have to trim the bushes, somebody's going to have to paint the front doors. So I don't think the public realizes how devastating the Chinese drywall is problem is. Jennifer DeGlopper is the condo association president at Peace River Condominiums where Chinese drywall was discovered in seven units including her own. Her frustration with the situation took her to city leaders. I asked the Punta Gorda City Council to declare a state of emergency in Punta Gorda due to the Chinese drywall situation. And today the city council voted unanimously to ask the governor to declare a state of emergency in Punta Gorda which would pave the way for federal funding to help victims. We have a disaster here in Florida, and it's called Chinese drywall, and it's just as bad as a hurricane. And please turn the FEMA funds loose for us. The Glopper just hopes that relief will come soon. Oh, I think it's wonderful. I thank the city council for passing it because I think it's an important step. Hopefully we can get, get some action going. And officials tell us that as long as the plan keeps moving forward, the motion could bring financial relief to victims in as little as 120 days. Reporting in Punta Gorda, I'm Howie Grace, SNN, Local News 6. The motion will now go to the governor's office, and if he approves the request for the state of emergency, the city will then seek federal relief dollars from FEMA.